In our job, it's very easy to get involved, wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and say, oh my God, I gotta do this and I gotta do that. And... But I try to disconnect myself totally from my job. Because if not, I mean, you, you go crazy. We see things that normal people don't see uh, and will never see. The most difficult thing about being a homicide detective is when you have a case and you know who did it, but you can't prove it. It's like putting a puzzle together. You have to have everything kind of fall in place. It's, it's hard, it's draining, it's very draining. The hope is someday somebody's gonna get in trouble and they're gonna need to talk. And that's when you can get the proof. That's when you can solve the case. What keeps me interested in this job, it's always an adventure. It changes by the minute. It's never, ever the same. One of the things we never say around the office is, oh, it's, it's a quiet day, because rest assured, everything goes downhill right after that, and you don't stop. My father passed away when I was seven. He wasn't a real good guy. Believe it or not, he was a victim of a homicide. You know, as a, as a young boy, police would come to our house when things were bad or trouble was there, and they would take him away, and I can just remember things were better then. I would say, when I grow up, I want to be a policeman. When you're assigned to homicide, it really is a commitment that transcends regular police work. You quickly learn that you work for the victim's family members. You work for the wives, you work for the mothers. That's the reason I do what I do.